President of the Bankers Association of Trinidad and Tobago, Anya Snor, says there is absolutely no collusion relating to bank fees and charges in the banking sector. She made the comment while sitting before a joint select committee of parliament this morning. Janine Brown tells us more. The president of the Bankers Association, Anya Schnur, says much of the public's criticism of banking fees and charges are due to misconceptions. She says a recent report from an international accounting firm shows that not much has changed in the last decade. Fees have not increased annually for any fee category analyzed over the last 10 years. Fees and service charges were adjusted only three times over the last 10 years and independently of each bank. For some, for some fee categories, there were no increases over the past 10 years. In fact, she says the Trinidad and Tobago banking sector imposes the lowest charges in the region. When compared to similar services provided by banks in the region, in almost all fee categories in Trinidad and Tobago were lower than our regional counterparts. The BAT president clarifies that the association cannot influence the individual decision of member banks, stating that this is determined by the cost to provide these services to the public. Meanwhile, BAT treasurer Karen Darbisi says the public often assumes that the high profits recorded by banks annually are retained by the sector. She explained there's much payout that needs to be deducted from that money. The first thing that, that comes out as a payment from profits are taxes. The second point that comes out of profits are dividend payments. And again, dividend payments go to our shareholders. And I think if you look uh, very specifically at the dividend payment um, track record of the banks, most of the banks make dividend payments in a 45 to 55% range. According to figures given by BAT, banks have contributed over $4.6 billion in taxes to the government over the past 10 years. Janine Brown, C News.